interesting as well as important question as you can see it has appeared in government cts and wipro rajiv buys a good worth of rupees 6650 and he gets a rebate that is a reduction of 6 percentage on it after getting the rebate he pays sales tax for that particular product at 10 percentage so we have to find out the amount that he had to pay for the goods in total we have our options to be a 6,876.10 So the logic that has to be applied for this problem is as follows You have to convert the rebate percentage into a value and that you have to subtract the rebate value from the total amount 6650 then you have to convert the sales tax percentage into the actual amount then to get your final amount that he paid for the total goods you have to add your rebate amount plus sales tax amount finally you'll be getting your answer Let us see how this logic works out. Well, if you see, Rajiv has paid the rebate of six percentage of the total money. That is, six percentage of six thousand six hundred and fifty is nothing but six by hundred into six thousand six hundred and fifty, which is rupees three hundred and ninety nine. subtracting your rebate that is the reduction of amount from your total worth you have 6650 minus 399 which is 6251 and it is given that sales tax is 10 percentage so rajiv after reducing your rebate amount had had to pay 6251 for the good and he has to pay 10 percentage of that amount as sales tax so 10 percentage of 6251 can be obtained by 10 by 100 into 6251 which gives your sales tax to be 625.10 so the final amount that he had to pay will be the rebate amount plus sales tax amount after the reduction of the rebate the value of the good was 6251 rupees and the sales tax amount is 6200 sorry 625.10 rupees so the final amount can be obtained by adding these two which is rupees 6876.10 so option a 6876.10 rupees will be your answer our next example over here is based on population this is an important example as it has appeared in government bank and higher studies exams the population of a town has increased from 1,75,000 to 2,62,500 in a decade that is 10 years 
the average percentage in the increase of population per year has to be calculated. We have our options as A. 8% B. 5% C. 7% and D. 9% The logic that has to be applied for this problem is you have to find your increasing population that can be obtained by subtracting your starting year population from your ending year population. Then you have to find the increasing population percentage that can be obtained by increasing population by total population count in 200. So the required average per year will be increasing percentage by the number of years. Let us see how to apply this logic to solve the sum. The population of a town has increased in 10 years, right? So, the total increase of population in 10 years can be obtained by the ending year population minus the starting year population that is 262,500 minus 175,000 which gives you 87,500 that is a total of 87,500 has been increased in 10 years. Converting this value into percentage we have the increase percentage as 87,500 by the total population in the initial part that is 1,75,000 into 100 which gives you 50 percentage. So the increase in the percentage of population is nothing but 50 percentage. So the required average per year will be increasing percentage by number of year. So the required average is nothing but increasing percentage is 50 by the number of year is 10. So we have a total of 5 percentage. 5 percentage that is option B will be your answer. Thank you so much for learning percentages with GTEC Technos.